um, sorry for the lack of videos lately. Uh, life happens, got busy, haven't had time to film and edit a tutorial in a long time. But um, they are coming soon. I have some ideas brewing and notes jotted down for some looks coming up. So stay tuned for those. I promise they'll be up soon. In the meantime, I am doing this current favorites video. And these are some products I've been using for some time now and um, I reach for um, a lot. So moving on to the products, I got... Um, some face products, some lip products, um, mascara, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's start with the mascara. Um, as you know from my tutorials, I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast a lot, and I, it's still a favorite mascara of mine. The only thing that I don't like about it is that um, it flakes and it kind of falls out on my face. So I've been looking for a mascara that does everything the Lash Blast mascara does for my lashes, but without the flaking. Um, so I've tried a couple um, before I discovered this one and decided to stay with it, and it's the um, Dior Show Iconic Mascara, and the brush looks like this. It's a plastic brush. It looks kind of like a hairy bullet, and um, it lengthens, it thickens my lashes, it does everything, and I love 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 this mascara and it doesn't have any kind of fallout or flaking um even if I run my fingers through it right now there's nothing on my hands so it's really great and it washes off really easily too it comes right off with makeup remover or it actually washes off very well with just your face wash so I like that mascara a lot um and with spring coming up and the weather getting nicer and warmer my skin has been improving vastly this winter like was terrible, terrible, terrible for my skin. Um, it gets super dry, I was flaking, I was breaking out, and now as soon as it got warmer, all of a sudden my skin is getting like really great, um, fortunately. So, um, I've been kinda putting my heavier foundations away, and I was trying to look for something that was a little lighter, um, but still gave a little bit of coverage. And I ended up getting um, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, it's SPF 20. It comes in um, three different varieties, oil-free, the regular, I guess, and uh, kind of like a luminous or something type. Um, it just has like extra light reflecting particles in it for an extra glow, I guess. But this by itself gives your skin a really nice glow, and it's just enough coverage um, to even out your skin tone. It's really natural. It feels great on your skin, just like your regular moisturizer and it it lasts all day so i think it's a really great product i think i have it on right now and i've been using it every day um now that it's nicer outside so i highly recommend this product and definitely will be repurchasing the, repurchasing this um and i guess going along with glowing skin i've been really enjoying this blush by mac it's the well dressed and it's just a soft, subtle pink, and it has a little bit of shimmer or sparkle or something like that, but it's not overly sparkly. It's just enough, again, to give your skin kind of a, a glow because it reflects some light. And it's just a subtle pink on your cheeks. It just looks like you're a little, blushing a little bit. It looks really natural. Uh, I use it every day, so definitely like this product. Um, it's probably better for people with paler skin. If you have a darker skin tone, it might just give you that little bit of, of a glow-ish if you don't want like super sparkles on your face. So that might work good on top of like a darker blush for you. Um, and I guess going along with the blushes, um, I've been really liking this uh, Lancome brush. It's a number three brush. I actually got this as a birthday present from my sister. Thank you so much. I love you. And it's one of those dual fiber, stippling, skunk, whatever brushes. And this one's just really soft. And it's like a perfect size. And I really like using this with this blush, or any of my blushes anyway. Because um, it just puts the color exactly where you want it. I actually haven't tried this with foundation yet, but that's like my next thing. But before I received this from my sister, I purchased this one from Sephora. It's a little stiffer 
than the Lancome one. It's not as soft and it's a little denser, but it's still, I think it's still a great brush. I didn't return it for that reason. It's nice to have an extra one. So, I mean, this one's not bad. Um, and another Lancome brush that I recommend and love is the Lancome um, number 12 brush. And I think it's called their small precision brush. And it's not actually that small. I mean, I don't know what to really compare it to, but it looks like this. It's a great um, uh, brush for just packing on the color onto your eyes. And it's a good size for me because I guess I have like smaller eyes and a smaller crease and whatever. So um, I've been reaching for this brush a lot and I wish I actually had another one. I might splurge on another one with that. Yeah, I like this one. Um, next, next is a product I had for a long time, and I actually have two shades of this. It's the uh, Makeup Forever HD um, concealer, and I have two shades because I started with one and I bought it in the summer, summer-ish. It was warm outside, and then it turned to fall, and my sister and my mom were one day were like, "What is that on your face?" and it was my concealer, but it was too dark for me, so I ended up getting two shades, and this was a, this one's a lighter than the other one, um, and I ended up having to mix the two shades, and it was kind of annoying, so I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I bought a new concealer and kind of put these aside, but now that I got paler, even paler, as the winter came on, I'm still pale because I haven't gone out in the sun very much, um, but, so I started reaching for this again, and the thing I really didn't like about it was its um, applicator or dispenser or whatever, the packaging. It's like this silicone thingy, and you click it, and um, the product comes out of the little hole right there. And it just kind of gets stuck and clogged sometimes. It gets kind of dry like that. But, I mean, the product itself is really great. It's very, very blendable. It covers up like a dream, and as long as your shade matches your skin. Um, but, so I've been using this a lot, um, again, lately, so I like that. And also with spring coming up, spring means colors, and I love color. So um, one of my favorite looks um, is like a neutral eye with bright lips. So I've been really into bright lipsticks. And here are some of my favorite bright lipsticks. Um, this is a drugstore brand. This is Maybelline. It's a color sensational. It's in peachy scene. And it's a very pretty um, pinkish coral. Um, I don't look good in like the purely coral colors. It just makes me kind of look cartoony. Um, but this has like, it's a little more on the pink side for a peach color. And it's very bright, it's very pretty, so I like that one a lot. Um, I've been also really enjoying the MAC um, Lady Gaga lipstick. This is for their Viva, the Viva Glam line. And it's a sheer pink, but it's buildable to like a brighter pink. Um, and I love pink lipsticks. Um, and this is another pink lipstick that I picked up. This is from YSL. It's their Rouge Volup lipstick. And I really love this color. It's one of my favorite, favorite colors for a lipstick. And this is an Opera Rose. Again, part of their spring collection. And it, it's just, I don't know, it's just such a pretty, pretty pink color. I like the formula a lot. It's very moisturizing. And it stays on your lips for a long, long time. So I really like that. And I'll probably feature this in one of my tutorials. So those are my current favorites, or I guess, you know, what are current favorites, lifetime favorites, whatever favorites, stuff I like. Um, so um, that's it. I uh, hope to see you guys again in my next video, and hopefully that will be a tutorial. Um, so until then, enjoy, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye.